Hello, today I'm going to do a review of Drick Plate A. I just recently got this plate. I got mine from www.ninjapolish.com. I'll put the link in the description below. And I just wanted to show you the plate and show you the different designs up close. And then I will do a couple of test stamps with it for you so you can see how it works. So here's the top row. There's some swirls and a star pattern and um, a French nail tip pattern, which could be used a lot of different ways with um, crossing stripes and a heart, a really pretty flowery scroll kind of pattern, some lines, you can see I've already used that one. Here is a full nail design um, that has uh, leaves. Down here, another one I've already used several times. Um, skulls with little bows and I love the the heart eye sockets I love that just so cute um, some Celtic rope designs there another beautiful scroll work design couple of more different scroll work designs I love that fern um, this beautiful one I, I, I used I isolated part of the design which um, turned out really nice some stripes here a different size polka dot design and this kind of swirling vortex thing I love. This is so cute with the different flowers on the on the stripes there. And some nice butterflies. Another kind of scroll work tapestry design, a little bit different. Awesome circles that uh, that make you go a little bit cross-eyed. Love to see something with neons with that. That would be very cool. I love this with the dropped flowers like that down the lines. Um, nice overall rose pattern, and I really like the roses in that too. Some hearts in a in um, a little diamond kind of pattern. That just reminds me of a beautiful carpet. So does the next one. A couple of these beautiful kind of carpet patterns. Heart design for you. Um, this one is uh, little flowers and circles. I think that's just a uh, sweet, sweet design. Uh, a different kind of zebra stripe. Uh, this it looks kind of mosaic-y to me. I like that one. Let me get it there for you. And a different kind of overall flower design. Um, another little heart one here. And paw prints. I'm a cat lover, so, well, I'm an animal lover, but I just happen to have cats right now. Uh, animal print. I like that it's got different kinds of sizes there. That's pretty cool. Um, this could be a lot of things. I look When I look at it, I see um, kind of paintbrush strokes, but I could see it could be a lot of things. A nice hound's tooth. Pretty daisies. And then a different kind of a heart and diagonal. I love this with the swirly flower looking things there. Great effect. A little bit of a leopard and then the kitties with the butterflies. And you can also isolate those little kitties and just do, you know, different kitties if you want. A nice beehive, a spider web, one of my favorite swirl designs ever. And then I guess kind of a giraffe or you could do a lot of different things with that actually. Okay, so those are all of the designs on the plate, and I will come back and compare um, this with a Conad plate for you so you can see the size, and then I'll stamp with it. So one of the things I want to point out about this plate, and one of the things I really love about this plate, is how big the nail designs are. So this is the tip, uh, you know, a Conad plate, standard Conad plate, and here are the nail designs from that plate. And a lot of people, or some people I should say, have a problem if they've got longer nails, they'll have a problem getting their whole nail covered just with one Conad um, image and they'll have to try to line it up, double stamp it. Uh, or if they have wider nail beds like on their thumb, m most of the time Conad will fit my thumb, the width of my thumb, just barely. I have to be very, very careful, um, but it will fit. So, but anybody that's got you know a slightly bigger thumb than I have, it's going to have an issue with that. Um, I also like to do stamping on my toes, and my big toe, of course, is wider um, both ways than um, than my thumbnail. So I can't 
one of these stamps will not completely stamp over my big toe. And that's one of the reasons why I really love this plate because these designs are huge. They're absolutely huge and they will definitely fit across a longer nail. You can see here um, that my nail, it's a pretty standard size for you know what you see. It's not super long, but I could have um, my nail almost half as long again and this would still cover it. Definitely is gonna cover the whole width of your nail bed um, and will cover your toe, especially if, if it won't cover your toe this way, it'll certainly cover your toe that way, unless you like your toenails really long and ew, stop it. So this is a great thing to use if you want have any of those kinds of issues with the size. One of the things I would suggest is, um, you'll see when I stamp that this stamper isn't gonna be able to pick up the whole design by itself. There are extra large stampers on the market and they work beautifully with these. I do not have one yet, but um, I will come back and, and do another little um, uh, video tutorial showing you how to use the larger stamper when I get it. But for me right now, this has been working fine. Just get an extra large stamper if you have those kinds of issues. All right, let me stamp some for you. Okay, so let me do some stamping for you. The first one I'm going to stamp is this googly eye kind of one right here with the crazy circles. So, put my polish on. And if you don't know, you don't generally have to put polish all the way down the design because when you use your scraper and you scrape it down, it usually is going to spring enough with it that you'll be fine. All right, put it right in the middle here and you can see perfect on that image. Everything looks great. Now before it takes me too long to get and it dries out, let me stamp it on my finger. And this over here is my fault because I'm not used to stamping on camera. So look at that part and that part here you can see it come, came out really well. I messed it up a little bit over here, but that's my error. But you can see, stamps really well, really beautifully. All right, let's try this one here, and I'll try to be a little bit better with my, um, with my application technique. I'm not used to doing it at this angle. I can see another reason why you know, people that make great tutorials deserve a lot of credit for what they do. Okay, so there's the image right there on the stamp. I'm gonna do this one right here. There we go, I did it a little fast after cleaning it so it's a little smudgy on one end. So I'm just gonna take it from the other end and roll it on. And there you go. You can see even though the one end was a little bit squished on the, or a little bit, um, a little bit runny on the end because I still had some of the nail polish remover on the plate, didn't dry it well enough. There was still enough of the pattern left because they're so big that it did this perfect job covering my entire nail. So you can see how if you had um, one of the larger stampers, you're not gonna have any problem covering pretty much anything that you have with that. And actually, you know what? I haven't tried the kitty and I wanna try the kitties. So let me do the kitties really fast. Again. You can see, beautiful crisp image, and I'm getting a little bit better at doing this at a different angle, and there's my pretty kitties right on there. So there you have it. I, I highly recommend this plate. I think it's great. Uh, everything I've tried to do with it is wonderful. The size is incredible, so I highly recommend it. Um, there's also a new one out, um, Plate B, um, and if there's anything that you would like to see, any images you'd like to see stamped, let me know and I'll try to do it for you. Thanks, bye.